Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Learn. And uh, today in this video, I will be discussing about the mechanism method. And this is going to be the second type of question. And uh, in the previous video, I had discussed about the mechanism method, but uh, there was point load. And in this question, the simply supported span AB of a span 9 meter is loaded with UDL. Okay. And uh, we are we are asked to find deflection at the mid span, and uh, we are given the value of E and I. So let's see how this question is being solved. Students, do watch the video very carefully to get right of any kind of confusion. And uh, let's begin the video. Uh, while beginning the video, we come toward the step one and uh, here our step very first step is to find the reaction at support a and b let's suppose the reaction at support a is b a and the reaction at support b is b b so in step one i am going to finding the solution yes so uh, step one reaction at support so for reaction at support what we need to do is sum of upward force is equal to sum of downward force okay sum of upward force is equal to sum of downward force that is uh, upward force means upward force means V A and V B are reaction at A and B which are acting upward. So V A plus V B is equal to downward force. Here the our U D L is fifty kilonewton per meter and the total span is five meter. So our total downward load is going to be fifty into five means V A plus V B is equal to 250 kilonewton and uh, this is going to be our equation one now what we need to do is we have to take moment about any in point either about a or b and we have to find uh, by solving that equation moment equation we will find the reaction and uh, then we will go to our step two so uh, let's take moment about a taking moment about a now i'm going to follow a simple sign convention which is very helpful in finding the moment see here this sign convention is used for finding the moment and uh, for that what we need to do is upward is positive and downward is negative now as i am taking moment about a so uh, this is vv vv it is acting this anti clockwise then uh, i am taking moment about a and uh, this is our uh, right hand side so we will use this sign convention of right hand side sign convention and as you can see VB will act like this then for this we, what we will have positive sign so uh, what we will do is VB uh, into 9 9 now this is upward force and uh, 50 kN and uh, you can see that 50 kN is acting downward and total load will be 50 into 5 means 250 kilonewton and is acting downward for downward force we will be using this sign convention minus 250 into now we need to take distance now see here carefully uh, you should remember one thing that uh, the cg of udl is always at center and uh, as we are taking moment from point a so we need to consider this one meter also then 
what will be the total distance of this UDL means uh, what will be the distance of the CG of this UDL this 1 meter plus half of 5 meter then we will get to uh, ask its CG from point A so what we need to do is 250 is the total load now we need to multiply it with distance to get the moment because moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance and uh, as you can see this is force and this is going to be perpendicular distance this one meter plus half of the five meter okay so right here one plus five by two then it is going to be now zero is equal to zero so we will get the answer vv is equal to vv is equal to 97.22 kilonewton meter similarly return the value of vv in equation 1 you will get va is equal to 152.77 kilonewton meter now we will be going to add step 2 now for step 2 we need to select a distance x from any end either from a or from b here i will be selecting from a so uh, sub select a distance x and the distance will be selected in such a way that all the loads acting on the span lies within the span within that distance suppose uh, i am selecting here this is our distance x then uh, all if the if the beam were loaded with any more some or more loads also like point load then uh, then the it should lies within this span x suppose if our load is lying acting here uh, suppose this is 15 kN is acting here then we have to select distance x up to here so that all the load acting on the span will be within that span and now as you can see this is udl so what we need to do is we have to extend this up to distance x and uh, as we have added this much load so we need to dis subtract this much load so that it will be easy for us to uh, find the deflection at the mid span okay and uh, let's suppose this is our uh, point e and uh, now what we need to do is we have to proceed solving the numerical uh, by taking moment about e on lhs and uh, here you may ask me a question that why we take moment about e on lhs why not on rhs we do this because we have to consider all the load which are acting on the span and it all the loads are considered only if we take the moment on lhs about e okay now on finding the moment what we will get m e means moment about e is equal to 152.77 into x means this v a into total distance x up to e this is acting upward and i am using this sign convention positive okay and further further all the loads are acting downward then we will be using all the act force acting downward will be negative so now all the remaining load will be negative so it will be minus 50 into x minus 1 now as you can see as you can see here the total distance is x and uh, 50 kN load is now acting up to air here because we have increased its length and further then after that we will decrease subtract this so uh, its span will be total x minus this 1 meter okay this 1 meter then it will be x minus 1 and uh, yes as you can see I have done the same thing 50 into distance now 50 kN per meter this is multiplied with distance now it becomes load now I need to distance it multiply it with the cg distance of the cg and the distance of the cg will be half of the distance so divide it by 2 now uh, as i have added added some load as i have added
get some load so i need to subtract the same load this is 50 kilonewton per meter so th and this is also 50 kilonewton per meter this is acting downward so this downward load the load which is below the span will be acting upward so it will be positive 50 times its span as you can see the total span is x and uh, to up to this it is 6 so the this distance will be x minus 6 so multiply it with by x minus 6 now half multiply this is load and this span will be uh, cg will be at distance x minus half of the span so uh, now we are finished finding the moment now what we need to do is now equate the moment me equal to ei times ei times d square y by dx square and copy the equation then it will be 152.77 x minus 25 times x minus 1 whole square plus 25 times x minus 6 whole square now uh, in further steps what we need to do is we have to integrate this equation uh, with respect to x on both side twice for first we, if we will integrate this when we will get the value for the slope and again integrating with we will get the value for the deflection equation for finding deflection and equation for finding slope now as you can see integrating the given equation if on integrating this equation uh, you will get these two equations this is simple integration uh, using the formula x to the power x to the power n integration is equal to x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 okay on integrating this equation we will get these two equation now what we need to do is we have to find the value of the constant which are c1 and c2 so for that we will be using the boundary condition at as x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 once and then x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 0 on using that equation we will get the value of c1 and c2 now as you can see if i am using here x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in this equation what happens here y is equal equal to 0 so this becomes 0 x is equal to 0 if i put here x is equal to 0 then i will get minus 1 you should remember one thing that this on putting the value of x the the sign of the equation should not change means the const uh, if i put here x is equal to 0 then it will become minus 1 then such condition should not prevail either it should be equal to 0 or should be positive if i am putting here x is equal to 0 then it will become minus 1 so this term is neglected and uh, if i put here again 0 x is equal to 0 then it will again become negative so this term is neglected and if i put here x is equal to 0 then it becomes 0 so it, uh, this term is taken now what we are getting 0 is equal to 0 this term two term are neglected plus 0 plus c2 this implies c2 is equal to 0 again again put uh, x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 0 now uh, if i put x is equal to 9 here y is equal to 0 then this becomes 0 and x is equal to 9 then it becomes 152.77 into 9 to the power 3 by 6 minus 25 into as if i put here x is equal to 9 then it becomes greater it is positive so we can take this term then it will become 8 to the power 4 by 12 plus 25 times 8. we can put here 9 because here on putting 9 here it will be positive so it can be put in here we can put it here okay then uh, we will get plus 9 c1 and on solving this you will get c1 is equal to minus 131132.99 after finding the value of c1 and c2 return the value of c1 and c2 in this equation 4 on returning the value of c1 and c2 in this equation 4 you will get ei times y is equal to 152.77 into x to the power 3 by 6 minus 25 times x minus 1 to the power 4 by 12 plus 25 times x minus 6 to the power 3 by 4 uh, plus 
no minus one one three two point nine nine x and c2 is zero uh, now as we are asked to find mid uh, moment and the mid span mid span will be x is equal to 4.5 as the total span of the beam is 9 meter so mid span will be 4.5 so put x is equal to 4.5 and uh, uh, suppose this is our span 4.5 meter which is mid span and this is point f now we have to find a uh, moment at point f then e i times y yeah sorry we have to find deflection at point f e i times y f y f is equal to we have to put x is equal to 4.5 on doing so on doing so we will get this value if we can put 4.5 x equal to 4.5 here here but we cannot put x is equal to 4.5 in this situation because on put doing so it will become negative so this term is neglected for x is equal to 4.5 you should remember that it should be positive on putting the value it should be positive either or either positive or equal to 0 so this term is neglected and further it will be 1 1 3 2 point 9 9 into 4.5 on solving this you will get e i times y f is equal to e i times y f is equal to uh, you will on solving this you will get this uh, this value as you can see here in this equation maximum value of x is 4 4 so what we need to do is we have to multiply this by 10 to the power 2 well I am doing this because our all the value were in kilo Newton meter and here x is made four times means meter is made four times and ei is in millimeter and one meter is equal to thousand millimeter and it's four times means 10 to the power 3 to the power 4 so it becomes 10 to the power 2 well which is down here on dividing this you will get y of is equal to uh, 82.69 63 millimeter y f and this is going to be our answer which is yes here you will get this answer okay and uh, thanks for watching this video keep supporting my channel and uh, if you find any queries then do comment and uh, please like share and subscribe my channel thank you